Before you carry out any import of records into ACT, it's important that you take a backup of your database. It's also important for you to know how many contacts you've currently got in your database so you can keep track of your numbers. So I'm going to pop over to Excel to show you the Excel file that I've created. I've got 19 contact records that I want to import into ACT. I've added an ID status field and I've called all of these contacts Prospects Import. That's important because I want to be able to look up all the new contacts I've imported to make sure the import has been successful. Now I'm going to close out of this Excel file and come back to ACT to start the import process. So let's go to File and Import and Next and here you can choose the type of file you want to import, maybe another ACT database or Outlook, but on this occasion it's Excel. We'll click the Browse button and go and find the Excel file and Open and Next and we're importing contact records and next. I always recommend you choose custom import because I want to check to make sure the Excel fields match the ACT fields. And next. On this occasion we are not going to import the first record because that's the header row in Excel and you'll see on the left hand side are all the Excel fields and on the right hand side all the ACT fields and they've mostly matched up automatically but you can see that the business type in Excel hasn't found a match in ACT so I'm actually going to create a new ACT field. We'll scroll down and I'm going to find a match for postcode. There's one in ACT called postal code so I'll find that and also I'll match the extra phone to the phone field in ACT. And once you've created a map for those contacts, you can actually save the map so that you could potentially use it again. So let me click the Save Map and I'll call it Import. And if I have a similar import to do another time, I can use it by just clicking the Load Map button. And let's click Next. So there's that new ACT field that we created. If you wanted to rename it, you can do so. Just double click on it and you can change the ACT field length as well. Let's click Next. At this stage, you can choose what to do if records already exist in your database. Let's click the Contact button. I'm going to suggest you keep all the defaults here. You certainly want to add records to the database if they're not currently in the database. And if you find records are already existing in the database, then the options are to merge or to replace with the source or not to change. In other words, not to import them. So I'm going to select Merge and click OK. And if you wish, you can have a confirmation of each match and when the confirmation comes up to say that this record's already in the database, you can choose to ignore it, skip it or add it to the database. We'll click Next. Looks like everything is fine in terms of compatibility, so we'll begin the import process. The import has been successful. You can always click to view the import log and if there are any errors they'll show here but no problems on this occasion. Click OK and finish and there you can see my database has now been increased to 233 records. I always like to check the import so I'm going to come down to the ID status field in this lookup box and search for those new records that have come across and there you can see all of those 19 records that have been imported successfully into ACT. I'd like to change the value in the ID status field for these 19 contacts to just show prospect now. So I'm going to come up to edit and replace field 
and carry out a global edit. So I'm going to look for the ID status field and I'm going to change that value to prospect. Now when I click OK, you get a warning message that says that this operation is going to affect the entire current lookup. Are you sure you want to continue? So it'll obviously just work on these 19 records, but be careful because if you do this on your entire database, you can't undo the changes. So I'll click yes to that and all of those records are now updated. Let's carry out one more global edit. I've noticed that a number of my contact records don't have anything in the country field and I'd like to replace that with the United Kingdom. So I'm going to highlight those records that are empty on the country field and come across to look up selected. That's the lookup I'm going to work on, 23 records. So I'll come across to edit, replace field. I'll search for the country field and make sure the value in there is set to United Kingdom. Click OK and this is going to affect this current lookup. Are you sure? Yes, to make those changes. I'd like to invite you now to join our Better Act Now coaching programme. Over a period of six weeks, we'll be looking at segmenting our database, designing templates, sending out mass e-shots and follow-ups. And if you're curious as to how you can use ACT and social media, then I'll be showing you how to design web forms for growing your contact lists. We'll look at creating drip marketing campaigns and finally we'll look at the importance of tracking your opportunities and analysing your sales figures. At the end of every week you'll have access to our Better Act Now training videos. So if you're interested all you've got to do is email Elaine at Better Act Now to reserve your place. Thanks very much. Hope to see you soon.